Hey there, viewers! Now that 2020 is over, I bet you've been stocking up on health food for a fresh start. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? We could all do a little better in the nutrition department. If you ignore your diet, things can go downhill pretty quickly. Let's talk about what happens to your body when you stop eating fruits and veggies. Does your body start to smell? Do you become depressed? Do your teeth start to rot? Wait, can you actually go blind? We're talking all that and more. Number 1. Loss of vision all right, I'll admit it, I was just trying to scare you. You're not going to go completely blind, but cutting fruits and veggies can still cause loss in vision. This will really disrupt your life no matter how bad it is. By cutting these foods, you're depriving yourself of important vitamins and minerals. This can seriously mess with your eyes. Let's talk about vitamin A for a second. It has so many great benefits. One of its strongest is the ability to protect you from blindness. People with a vitamin A deficiency will experience night blindness as one of their first symptoms. Nobody wants to stumble around in the dark. Vitamin A can be found in veggies like carrots, spinach, and broccoli, as well as fruits like cantaloupe. So if you haven't been eating any fruits or veggies in the last few days, this is motivation to start again. Have you ever lost your vision temporarily? What was it like? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Depression Why so sad? Is it your diet? If you haven't been getting your proper fruits and veggies, you're going to experience a decline in mood. A good diet with lots of nutrients is essential to your mental health. Studies have shown a direct link between lack of fruits and veggies and severe depression. This is why you need to improve your eating habits. Bananas are a great way to start. Bananas also have vitamin B6, which activates the brain's neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. You also have things like berries, which contain great antioxidants. If you want to feel better, eat more nutritious foods. Number 3. Rise in Blood Pressure Cut out fruits and veggies and watch your blood pressure climb. Your lack of proper nutrients is causing buildup in your arteries. As a result, your heart will have to work harder to pump blood. People who aren't eating proper vitamins and minerals tend to have much higher blood pressure than people who are. High blood pressure can lead to things like heart attacks and strokes. If you're concerned about it, there are so many great fruits and veggies that can help. I'm talking about oranges, berries, carrots, celery, tomatoes, and broccoli. Each contains nutrients that lower your blood pressure and reduce your risk of heart disease. For example, broccoli has antioxidants, which allow your blood vessels to function and enhance your nitric oxide levels. This leads to better overall blood pressure. Number 4. Bad Digestion you need fiber, and you need it now! Cutting fruits and veggies from your diet means your digestion will suffer. As a result, you won't be able to properly process food. You're also going to have trouble going to the bathroom. Like I just said, fiber is crucial for good digestion. Your healthy gut bacteria needs something to break down. Apples are rich in a certain form of soluble fiber known as pectin. The pectin passes through your small intestine and is broken down by the bacteria. This allows it to process and fix issues of constipation and diarrhea. On the veggie side, dark greens like broccoli and Brussels sprouts are also great. Number 5. You smell really bad. No, I wasn't trying to insult you. I'm just preparing you for what others might say if you cut healthy foods. Are people already covering their nose when you enter the room? Well, the problem might be your lack of fruits and veggies. It can give you really bad body odor. Yes, smell is primarily a genetic thing. Much like the color of our eyes, the smell that comes from your body is very much decided by our genes. But your smell can also be determined by your diet. Studies have backed this up. Research shows that a person on a steady diet of fruits and veggies has a much better natural odor. This is true even if you haven't been using deodorant. It's also been suggested that a diet heavy on meat and carbs can have the opposite effect. It all depends on how the particles in our body react to the food. This includes our body's microbes. If you've been off the fruits and veggies, you're going to notice an unpleasant smell as time goes by. Either that or your friends and coworkers will notice. And nobody wants that embarrassment. If you don't want your B.O. to be the topic of discussion around the office, eat healthier. Before we continue, are you seriously looking to make a change and eat more veggies? Check out our recent video on 12 vegetables you should eat that pack some serious power. Now back to our talk on what happens to your body when you cut fruits and veggies. Number 6. Blood Clots 
That's right, not getting enough fruits and veggies can give you serious blood clots. For those of you confused, a blood clot is where your blood has changed from liquid form to a gel-like state. This is your body's natural reaction to help stop you from losing blood, but it does get dangerous when a clot forms in your vein. When a blood clot develops in your veins, it doesn't always dissolve on its own. It gets especially scary when dealing with DVT, or deep vein thrombosis. This is the name for when a blood clot forms in a major vein deep inside you. DVT is said to kill around 100,000 Americans a year. If you're worried about blood clots forming in your body, eating better will put you on the right track. Things like grapes and leafy greens can keep your blood thin and stop the forming of clots. Foods with vitamin C are also important, as this vitamin reduces your risk of blood thickening. I'm talking about oranges, strawberries, and broccoli. Number 7. Your Teeth Rot you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, it's not just apples. Fruits and veggies with lots of fiber are generally great for cleaning your teeth. If you go for a long period of time without eating any fresh foods, your teeth are gonna suffer. You don't wanna be part of the statistic. Actually, it may be too late. Did you know that nine in 10 people have experienced tooth decay at some point in their life? When your teeth aren't getting enough watering, it allows harmful acid and bacteria to take over. When you give your teeth a wash, this same bacteria and acid has less of a chance. On top of watered-down foods, you should also look for foods that are high in vitamins A and C, as well as calcium. This gives your teeth strength and prevents them from falling out. Vitamin C in particular will protect your gums and tissues from cell damage and infection. Ideally, some of the best fruits and veggies for your teeth include carrots, apples, celery, cucumbers, pears, and lettuce. Not only will they wash away plaque, your breath will also freshen up. You may smell like B.O., but at least your breath won't stink. If you're ignoring your diet, prepare for some trouble the next time you sit in the dentist chair. Number 8. Your skin becomes gross. Have you ever seen a younger person with really dull and colorless skin? This is usually a sign of them not getting the proper nutrition. On the other hand, a person with glowing, beautiful skin probably eats really well. Skipping out on your veggies can mean big trouble for your skin. Vitamin K is usually the biggest factor in this. Lack of vitamin K can lead to an uneven skin tone, as well as skin damage. You'll also notice that you're bruising easily. Vitamin K allows your blood to pump freely through your body. This way, you're getting the proper supply. Vitamin K can be found in leafy greens like kale and spinach. You can also get it in cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. These are vegetables you're gonna wanna load up on the next time you hit the grocery store. Your diet is a really tricky thing. If you ignore it, it can cause some serious health issues. Have I sparked your interest? Let's dive in a little further. Here's a couple more videos you'll love. Check out eight healthy vegetables you should be eating and eight you shouldn't. Or how about 13 foods that are actually healthy and five that are not? Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both. Figure out which foods you want to eat. What's the longest you've gone without vegetables? Let us know in the comments below.